crabs are amazing, right? Oh, yeah! They're delicious, boiled or grilled. Even their innards are yummy. And five sets of legs, that's so many! That's all true. But what really makes them amazing is their miraculous ability to regenerate. They can detach their own legs when a predator attacks, which lets them get away. It's called autotomy. And then, not long after they detach their leg, a new one grows from the stump. Really? So you're saying we need to catch lots of crabs, then scare them so they detach their own legs? That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. We can harvest as much as we like. No one's thought of this before. We're geniuses. Huh. I never knew that. I thought only lizards could regrow a lost body part, and only their tails. Lizards? Do you think Dial's tail can grow back? If it does, we can make a killing by selling Dial tails. Would they be... tasty? No idea. Ugh. No way. Have you heard? Marcus and his pirates were taken out by the Royal Navy. So, he even got Marcus's crew now. Of the four pirate kings who terrorize Midgand, only Eifried and his crew remain. Aren't the seas still swarming with pirates? Only small fry that rob small civilian ships on the sly. But the only pirates left that can pick a fight with the Royal Navy and win are Eifried and his crew. In other words, the only ship left that's truly free is the Von Eltia. For a merchant, you really seem to like these pirates. He may be crooked, but money's not all he's after. If profit was his only desire, he could have made more by selling us out. <laughs> but that'd be too boring, don't you think? The fun's in making a killing by breaking the rules. <laughs> You're a funny guy. And that's why Ifri goes through him whenever we need to dock here. Hmm. Well, I can't say I've ever met a human like him. Wind's kicking, and the tide's flowing, and we're stuck here. Then why not just set sail? Not going to happen. The Abbey hasn't given us permission yet. And we would need their permission, why? The Kingdom keeps a strict watch on harbors and sea routes. It's like they've erected walls and gates in the sea. Aha. Uh -huh. Midgand is spread across a number of islands. The sea is the only way to get from one place to another. If they can control the ships, they can control the flow of people, goods, and even information. Exactly. It's restrictive, but it's also necessary. Demons are out at sea too, and exorcists are the only ones who can stand against them. Even still, it rubs me the wrong way. A sea dog obeys nothing but the winds and the waves. Aizen told us to come see you. What's all this about a scouting ship? We're going to explore the outer seas. Oh, let me explain. Beyond the reaches of our kingdom lie vast, open oceans we call the outer seas. And you're going to explore them? What for? To make a map of the whole world, of course. A map of the whole world? That's right. Eifried's pirates have many ambitions. One of which is the creation of a complete map describing the whole world. In fact, the Von Eltius already sailed all the way to the far continent for that very reason. That's amazing! You guys sure dream big. I still don't get it. Yeah, me neither. 
A map of a bunch of places nobody cares about? Big deal. Well, regardless, if we're going to find anything in the vast waters, we'll need a lot of luck. We'd like to borrow some of yours. And just how do you plan on doing that? I want you to use your gut instincts to tell us where to look. In exchange, the Von Eltia will be at your service. And you can keep anything we find in our explorations. You'll be able to assign us new orders from any location by using a kind of messenger bird called a Sylph Jay. Who knows? We might even come across some good treasure. Or maybe some rare food. Or brand new recipes. Hmm. That's a lot of treasure you could find. Doesn't sound bad to me. You're right. Okay, as long as I'm not responsible for how things turn out, I guess I can help. All right, then I'll tell you what you need to know. Scout ship setting sail. Take a look at this. So now we just wait for news. Who knows what we'll find? A sunken ship full of treasure, maybe? Underwater ruins? Desert islands? New shipping lanes, perhaps. Some fish would be enough for me, especially if they sell well. My thoughts exactly, tuna or yellowtail or sturgeon! Take a look at this. Well, well. Now here's a fine haul. This recipe looks real tasty. Scout sh Scout ships. Take a look at this. I knew this would be big. What a treasure! Scout ship set. Scout ships. Take a look at this. Scout ship setting sail. Take a look at. This recipe looks real tasty. Scout. I knew this would be big. What a treasure! Scout. Scout. Take a look at. Scout. Scout. Take a look at this. Well, well. Now here's a fine haul. Scout. 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 Take a look at. Scout. I knew this would be big. What a treasure!
Sir, scouts have reported seeing a powerful demon. Its danger level has been classified as Code Red. Understood. I'll notify the Abbey we have a Code Red demon in our midst. Send out an emergency alert to the neighboring areas. Right! With wild demons this close to the capital, the Abbey must have had its hands full. Aizen, what did he mean by a Code Red demon? It's like a most wanted list for demons. Oh, they sound pretty tough. That would be putting it lightly. Then we'd best be prepared. Let's get going. You said you heard about Eifried on the prison island, right? I heard an exorcist legate named Melchior took him away. I don't know anything beyond that. Neither do I. What about you, Mogilu? Word is he was taken away about a year ago. Caused quite a stir if I remember right. Everything about him was kept a tight secret. No one even knew what cell he was in. Eifried is an ordinary human, right? Yeah. He doesn't have the abilities of an exorcist. And he isn't a demon either. Weird. I mean, if they were just trying to bust up his gang, why capture him but leave the crew free? If not his gang, what business does the Abbey have with him then? We've cast our nets wide and can't come up with any explanation. We'll free him, though. His place is on the sea with us. And you're convinced he's still alive? They wouldn't have any problems killing a pirate who caused them trouble. If the Abbey took him alive and for questioning, it means he has something they really want. But he isn't the type to change his ways or bend his knee on anyone's orders. He holds his own tiller. Precisely. Why did you come back to us? I could tell you all missed me something awful. We didn't. At all. And what about your search for this traitor? He slipped away yet again. I've no clue where he ran off to. You're a witch. Can't you use a spell or something? My spellcraft works kind of like a three-legged race. It simply requires my backstabbing slippery accomplice. Like a con artist needs an accomplice. I am not a con artist! I'm not going to help you find your traitor, you know. How cold! Such an icy stare could freeze fire! And you don't have anyone else? Hmm. Well, no. Do you have a home to return to? Nope. Do you know a trade other than magic? Nope. Uh, what is it, Lafayette? Um... Magilu's story made my chest feel funny. And my nose is runny. The witch has no friends, no home, and no purpose. I think what you're feeling is pity. Pity? It's when you feel sorrow for someone else. I... pity Magilu. Oh, come on! Wait, you're coming too? Get out of my way. 
Those walls, they're so huge. That's Logris, the capital of the Empire. They keep demons out by enclosing the city within a great wall. Humanity has achieved great things on the backs of slave Malakim. Why the surprise, Lafayette? You've been here before, right? I have. But back then, I was not who I am now. I see. Tethered Malakim aren't even allowed the freedom to observe their surroundings. We'll soon lose such freedom ourselves. Huh? We've reached the heart of the Empire, and of the Abbey. Soldiers and exorcists are stationed all around. This is no place for a collection of villains like us. I'm not looking for a place. All I need to find is Artorius. That's it. Don't get overconfident. We're finished here. Let's go. Here I come. I'll cut down anyone in my way! Looks like you want to die. <laughs> We're finished here. Let's go.
An inspection. They won't inspect everyone. Just act natural. Your face is all stiff. I know. You, in the black coat. Show me your documentation. Uh, um... Well? Your travel permit from the Abbey? Where is it? <laughs> Foolish girl, how many times have I told you? A magician's apprentice must wear a pleasant grin. Magician? Verily! I present to you the traveling troupe of mischievous misfits known across the land as... Magilou's Menagerie! Entertainment for the ceremony? Why, yes, indeed we are, my dear. Please, pardon my uncouth apprentice. Girl, allay the good man's fears and show him the dove trick you've spent all these weeks on. Go to! Huh? Oh, uh, sorry, mistress. I forgot to prepare. Y y you pathetic little shirker! A proper performer is perpetually prepared! It's fine. Doves flying around would be a nuisance. No, this will not do. If you cannot summon a dove, then act like one. Act like a dove. Coo coo. Hey, you can't advertise here! Move along! As you say! <laughs> that was a fine ploy, Mogilu. Well, don't expect tricks like that every day. Coo-coo. <laughs> oh, that murderous gaze! Coo-coo! Those doves were amazing! Just a crude trick. If anything, it just shows the Capitol's defenses are pathetic. More like it shows how much confidence they have in those defenses. How many soldiers are here, Lafayette? The number of exorcists in the Capitol? At least a thousand. And two divisions of guards. I'd expect no less from the Capitol. They're not careless. They're covered. We need transit documents. See how the citizens smile? To think they were fleeing from demons just a few years ago. To hold an observance of this scale shows just how much peace their power has brought. A peace paid for with Laffy's... Velvet? The Abbey's job is getting harder and harder. We've all got to give them our full support. Uh, let's backtrack a bit. Just what sort of organization is this, Abbey? You're kidding me. How do you not even know that? The Abbey is part of Midgan's Church of the Empyreans. Originally, it was an order of paladins and warrior priests devoted to exorcising evil. Yeah. The Abbey's official name is the Exorcist Abbey of the Church of Midgand. Nowadays, its members are all called exorcists. I'm impressed. You've done your research. So basically, they're just one branch of the church, right? And for a side branch, they don't really strike me as humble. Of course not. The high priest entrusted all his power to the Abbey's leader, Lord Artorius. He's effectively retired. So the Abbey's leader is at the top of the entire church. That's not all. The prince also gave Lord Artorius authority over all military and government affairs during the crisis. Lord Artorius commands Midgan now, and has formed a new theocracy to combat the demon blight. And that is the origin of the Holy Midgand Empire. The Abbey is its foundation, and its ray of hope. Well, okay, got it. The Abbey's a big deal.
Right now, Prince Percival is the one ruling Midgand. He's the crown prince. The crown prince? What happened to the king? The king is in good health, but he's decided to withdraw from public life and leave the kingdom to Prince Percival. He declared that a new way of thinking was needed to save the world from this crisis. <laughs> this Prince Percival is incredible, too. He's following in the footsteps of the king by working hand in hand with Lord Artorius in the Abbey. As long as we have Lord Artorius and Prince Percival, the future of Midgand is bright. Ask anyone. <laughs> Got it. Bye. <laughs>